Hey, what is up everybody? It is Wick here. I've got 10 things I've sold on eBay here. Uh, and these are things that maybe you know about, maybe you don't. Uh, just give you some ideas of stuff to look for at thrift stores, garage sales, yard sales, church rummage sales, all that kind of stuff. And make some extra money. Um, it's paid very little for this stuff and I uh, got some great return on my investment. Uh, the first thing you hear is this Home Medics Therapist uh, Select Massager. I feel like I, I sell a few of these every year. Uh, this is a lower end model, and I just want to make sure people realize that these whole medics massages, there's so, so many different models, and most of them do sell well, and you can get them pretty cheap. I just sold one like a couple months ago. I paid $2 for it a yard sale, and um, I sold this one for $46.59 and made $27.43 profit. I only paid $4 for this at a church rummage sale. You see it has all the attachments in the, the manual. If you have all of that, you're going to get a premium price. Obviously, you want to make sure it's in good condition. you got to test this stuff. And this is a lower-end model. Some of the ones that have heat sell for $60, upwards to $70. So it's something to keep an eye out for because you always see these massagers at yard sales. You, even the ones with the backs, um, with the balls in them, and some of the smaller ones that you put like, they're like a glove or something you put on some of those can even go for forty dollars so definitely keep an eye out for these massagers so this is probably going to be one of my top flips of the year um i got these at a church rummer sale the same one i got the massager at actually and i paid 25 cents a piece for these these are quickbooks pro 2010 it's older software but it's all sealed and um sold them for 99.99 a piece so I had, like I said, I had four of them, so I had a dollar into them, and um, each one after fees and costs and everything, $83.58. It only cost $275 to ship these media mail since they're software, and um, I made $334.32 on a dollar investment. You can't really beat that. I mean, you can beat it, but um, you, you, if you're trying to beat that, you're probably being a bit greedy. Um, I would love to have flips like that all the time even like that you could pay a hundred bucks maybe even a hundred and fifty dollars on this software and still flip it and still make a great profit so getting it for a quarter a piece is just amazing and all these numbers are after my cost and fees and everything figured in so keep that in mind um, the only thing I don't have here is um, taxes on the profits I'm gonna have to pay at the end of the year um, that's not factored in but everything else is factored in, so I'm taking home $334.32. Uh, sealed software is really good. The open software, not so good because they have serial codes, and if you try to sell it, someone could have used that serial code, and maybe um, you know it's, it's not going to be valid anymore uh, to the person buying it. So I, I only really mess with the, the sealed stuff. Some software you can check to see if the serial has been used or not. Um, if you can verify that it hasn't been used, you can sell the item used and, and still do pretty well. But I don't know why this was just sitting there at the rummage sale for sealed copies. Uh, just imagine going into a sale like that and having some business that just brought this over to the church rummage sale that wasn't using this anymore. Maybe they have a box of 10 of these, uh, maybe 10 boxes of 10, you know, get a hundred of these. Um, you're paying a quarter a piece. I mean, the, it's such a treasure hunt, it really is, because people are always out looking for gold and all that kind of stuff at the yard sales, but you got this QuickBook stuff right here where you can just spend a dollar and make 300 plus dollars. So um, definitely look for stuff like this. You can you can clean up. So here we have a flinch game. Uh, this is a card game. It came from Goodwill, and it was in one of those plastic bags uh, sealed. So I couldn't really open it up and inspect it, but for $2, I looked it up, and I seen that they were selling for $18, $20, depending on condition. Once I got mine home and opened it, I seen it didn't have the little paper manual in there. So I listed it on eBay. I put, you know, no paper manual, but the instructions are on uh, online, on Wikipedia, all that information. But um, I, I listed mine for $13.99 because of that, and uh, sold pretty quick. Got $6.55 profit. So I expected to make about 10. Uh, without the manual, I still made $6.55. And I, I would buy this again just to make $6.55. All I had to do was count the cards, make sure they were all there. 
and then just take a few pictures. It took probably five minutes to list this. Um, I usually aim for the $10, like I've said before. I'm willing to take smaller profits on items when it doesn't take that much time to list, like this one, five or six minutes, and I can make a six bucks. I'm happy with it. Shoes are a great thing to, to look for. Um, if you're buying the right shoes at yard sales and even Goodwill or thrift stores, they move very well on eBay. Sometimes they don't move as quick because you got to have somebody come along that has the, wants that style and wants that size. But if you're buying something like these Red Wing boots and you're pricing them fair, um, there, there's enough people looking for them that they're going to move quick. I picked these up. They were priced $8 at a yard sale. There were some Echo boots there too. And I asked if I bought both pairs, if they would take less. And she said, how about $6 a pair? I'm like, sure. <laughs> I was going to buy them at $8 anyway. But I, I got these for $6. And I sold them for $60.14 shipped. And after shipping fees and cost, I got $37.93. Um, they were already pretty clean. They had a little bit of mud around them. So I just wiped that off and took the pictures and listed them. Didn't take long at all. Uh, to make that kind of profit so red wing boots i've been seeing a lot of these at yard sales but they usually price them at like 40 dollars. this is the first pair i've actually seen that was priced reasonable to resell here's something that's pretty good to flip uh sun steps sandals these are like usually the woven type um here i think they're mostly for men um i've only seen them for men i guess women um there could be some styles for women but anyway, these things do pretty well if you're getting them cheap enough. I picked these up at Goodwill for 5 bucks, and I sold them for $47.04 shipped. Uh, I think they went to California, actually, so the person did pay up. I only had them listed for like $29.99, so they paid about 20 bucks to have these shipped, maybe more. Um, anyway, in the end, I made $24.78 profit after all costs and fees. So keep an eye out for these sun steps. We got one more pair of shoes here. I picked these up at Goodwill. Um, these are Echo Golf Shoes. Golf Shoes can do very well, certain brands. These were, I'm pretty sure, unworn. And uh, I paid up a little bit for these, uh, $10.70 after tax. But I sold them for $54.44 and made $28.77 profit. So buying these shoes, listing them. Um, your, the profits are going to add up. You usually don't have much money in them. If you're buying the right ones, you don't have to wait long for them to sell. So Echo is a great brand to look into. A lot of high-end Echo shoes out there. So I found these in a tote recently of mine. and I'm not sure where they come from. I don't think they came from Goodwill because there was no price labels on them. I probably got these at a yard sale for about 25 cents a piece, I would imagine. Um, they're just cassettes, DR290, the Fuji. Um, just just for recording a lot of blank media you can sell very well and you can get cheap at yard sales I sold 11 of these for $34.99 so in the end I made $26.91 uh, light ships quick sells quick so I love finding blank media old old blank media like this and it's getting to the point where it's getting harder to find this stuff and some of the prices are going down on the VHS but some of the other stuff is going up because people still want it. I love selling media from yard sales, um, Goodwill, thrift stores. Sometimes they price it a bit too high to make money. This is a complete first, second, and third season of Dallas. I picked this up at a church rummage sale. Quarter a piece. So I got 75 cents into these. I picked up some other stuff too that was sealed and I uh, sold these for $54.99. So that's a great return on my investment. Shipped media mail. So it ships very um, low probably only spent about three dollars and something to ship these and uh, made forty three dollars and thirty six cents so um, yeah goodwill probably would have priced these minimum five to ten dollars a piece um, at five bucks you could still actually make a pretty good profit but a lot of media even if I was selling like three of these for twenty bucks if I'm getting it for seventy five cents are still a great return on my investment and they're easy to list easy to ship here's a pair of vintage mdr a 35 headphones these are the from the sport series uh, usually the yellow cd players and the yellow sony um, cassette players they're like the sports model um, that's what goes with this i think they have some orange ones too i'm not sure what unit this actually goes with but uh, when i seen this i knew they were worth some money seen them at a yard sale for 75 cents 
I did not hesitate to pick him up, didn't even look it up. When you're finding something like that for 75 cents, you just know to pick it up because you can, even if it's only worth like five or six bucks, bundling it with another unit that you're selling somewhere down the road, um, it's just going to make you extra money and it's going to be good for your listing. But this model right here is worth $44.99 and that's what I sold it for. I got $35.48 after shipping and fees. That's a great flip. Another $0.75 cents into um, $35.48. Awesome. And finally, baseball gloves are great to buy and flip. Um, a lot of them you can buy and um, flip pretty easily. They ship in a uh, flat rate um, padded bubble mailer usually. So you're spending about $7.33 to ship them. And this glove right here, uh, I sold for $23.99. I paid $5 for it at a yard sale. So quick. I only made $8.27. But for how easy it is to list these, um, you know, why not? And I, I probably could have got, I try to get $10 for everything, but, you know, it's just like the, the flinch game. Uh, if you can list it easily and flip it fast, Five, I get my five dollars back and I make eight dollars and 27 cents. Now, there's plenty of baseball gloves out there, softball gloves that can sell in the hundreds. Uh, they usually have a model on them, they're easy to look up, they're easy to research, they're just easy to deal with. So, anytime you see these at a thrift store or yard sale, pay attention to them because uh, if you can get one of the ones that sell for a hundred, two hundred dollars, even the, some of the 40, 50 dollar ones, they're great. Even the ones like this one, the lower end models that still sell. You can get $8.27 for them. They're, they're worth looking up. But that's going to do it for the video, everybody. Those are 10 items I sold recently that sell pretty fast. And uh, you should be looking out for because you can make money. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Be subscribed. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Ring that bell. Don't forget to ring that bell. Very important. This has been Wick. Until next time.